Hey Wastelanders, this is Gary from The Last Ranger and today we're going to take a look at this uh, Tuya knife. This is the Tuya Hive, I think V3. I don't know if it stands for version 3 or what have you, but anyway this is a knife that's uh, I think it's numbered. I was like playing around with it the other day and I, I saw a number in there is number 47 of 145 so um and on the 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 flipper tab it's a m390 steel so this is a a hollow grind from the feel of it you can't tell but the looks of it unless you look at it at an angle but it's i'm definitely seeing a hollow or feeling a hollow grind on it so uh, this knife I got from the Apex Pass Around. It's about two fifty, two hundred and fifty dollars. I'll also include a, a link in the description. Um, well, not a well. I'll include a link to the website, but uh, you can get a ten percent discount if this knife is still available or any knives at the to your web to your knives website. So anyway i believe this knife is uh, carbon fiber on one side and titanium on the other let's just for the heck of it test it with my handy dandy magnet <laughs> so titanium clip titanium body not titanium hardware carbon fiber Let's see if that's titanium. Nope. So it's pretty light. It's a pretty light knife. And it comes in a, a case like this. You, you should have seen uh, my unboxing video. That's delivered in a case like this. In a baggie. With a card. I don't think there's much else. It's a pretty nice knife. Let's, uh, let's get some uh, specs really quickly let's get some specs the blades three and a half inches long oh I, <laughs> looks better when i have it on camera the blades three and a half inches long and the handle is approximately four and a half inches long feels great feels great in hand totally fills out my hand uh, the pocket clip as usual is a mill clip and it's very comfortable in hand because you don't feel mill clips in hand due to them not flipping up or turning up like a regular stamped out clips it's a flipper tab design it's got a strong detent so initially you got to get uh, used to this really strong detent it seems like I'm straining and but it's not hurting my finger it's a little bit of a jimping on the tab but it's not painful but it won't be falling out <laughs> of the blade anytime soon or anytime soon of the handle it has a i believe it's let's see oh i lost my magnet again let's see it has a titanium backspacer too so but it has a a hidden lanyard feature I don't normally dig hidden lanyards features and I probably wouldn't use it I would just assume not they don't they don't they wouldn't have a hidden lanyard because I hidden lanyards never work it's kind of at odds with the blade it will stick a lanyard coming out this way it's pretty odd if you ask me has some has a nice uh, clip 
let's see if I have any huh I have my sticker around <laughs> so let's uh stick my sticker in there so you can see how much sticks out so you got a little bit sticking out to extract it from the pocket and let's get a weight on this bad boy 3.81 ounces let's see that's a hundred and eight grams check some of the measurements out on this okay let's see how wide this is it's a uh, 12.93 millimeters and 0.51 inches I like this uh, milling on the uh, the spine of the blade it's not quite crowned but it has um, a bevel on one side of and a bevel on the other it's sort of crowned but it's not a rounded crown it's like a bevels so it makes it very smooth very slick looking the the jimping on the blade is not like all that usable but it's nice looking I think it's a very handsome knife let's check this uh, grind Point one eight inches to give you a, a few knives to compare it with size wise this is the CVV uh, conspirator you can s compare it to the size of this it's about the same size I think this handle is just a touch longer just a little touch but this blade is a l a, just a touch bigger so this is the SOG stout oh let's compare it to the SOG stout let's see how if you're familiar with the SOG stout you can uh, get a full grip on this because they has a front choil all right Yeah, I just wanted to talk a little bit about this before I send it off. I just wanted to give you guys some specs and give you a chance to check it out and how it looks. I really dig this uh, beehive or I would call it a, a hex design on this uh, backspace of the titanium, the backside of the non-presentation side. Um, and then... Uh, how it looks on the the carbon fiber it's a it's kind of a big knife it's it's really good that they use titanium and uh, um, carbon fiber because I think that it would be a heavy knife for its size again it has a three and a half inch blade and it has a four and a half inch handle so you can see it in my hand it's a uh, I would say it's a large size knife medium maybe on the lower end of the large size just a big medium size knife let's show you another <laughs> knife to compare it to this is a little knife this is a button lock you can see it there this knife you can't like you can't get a you can barely get three fingers on this knife so full grip and some extra room I like this knife it really feels comfortable 
and it looks uh, really good. I like the knife. I like the knife. I like it a lot. I like how it looks. I like how it feels. I haven't carried it much. I carried it around the apartment, you know, so I didn't very... I, I got it in late last week, and I didn't want to spend time with it because I have uh, um, a lot of uh, Apex knives, and I don't want to check them out too long. I wanted There's a lot of people on the list that want to check this knife out, so hopefully you guys got a little bit of knowledge. It's like N390, if I didn't say that, N390 Steel. I think it's two, uh, two hundred and fifty dollars. It's a limited edition, so I don't know if I don't know even if there's still um, ones in the store. So, like I said, it's one hundred and forty-five pieces. So I'm gonna let you guys go, and I'm gonna review another two-inch knife. Take care, Wastelanders.